So, um, quick little update. We have, this is a Tiger Jaws. It's a succulent in bloom. Pretty excited about that. This plant's been doing really well. This is a really easy plant to grow. We have buds and lemony dendrobium. We have um, my tiger tail moonshine doing really well. But I went to Drader. Oh, this one's also got a bud on the way or a spike. But I went to Trader Joe's and I wish you guys could smell. I have I have a zygolumia. I have a zygopetalum. I have a zygonesia. Now I have another zygopetalum. Why did I need another zygopetalum? My first zygo, my big one that I've done many videos on, um, had that huge root ball that I had to hack into. That one has no smell. Like, no smell at all. To the point where I was like, I didn't believe people when they said that they smelled. Then, I'm at the at Trader Joe's, looking around, thought about getting a dendrobium, one of the bigger dendrobiums. Um, but I was like, no, I don't want that. And so I was sniffing the insidiums, and then I saw this. They had a lot of Zygonesias there, but they had this one. And when I stuck my nose in it, oh my God. Well, that's why I have it. It's home. This plant smells so good. I now understand why people say Zygonesia, Zygopetalum smell so good. It's because they do. Now, this one is different from my other Zygo uh, in that my other Zygo has more green to the petals. It has more of that, um, that pattern that you can kind of see back here. See, this one has that pattern. Uh, my other one has a lot more of that pattern, a bit more green. This one is a bit more brown, really. It's really brown. The flower really is not as pretty. I do love this color, though, but the flower itself is not as showy as other orchids, but God, does it smell good. Like, if only you could smell through camera. So birthday present to myself. thought about buying Fragopedium off of eBay, but this was cheaper and smells a lot better. So, just thought And what else is going on? Well, over here we have, this is where I keep my Oncidiums, my bigger ones. I don't think anybody in here is in spike. Nothing's really happening there, but over here is where I keep my frags and a few others. And I do have, there it is, this little frag is in spike. I am so excited. It's the second frag I've gotten to get into spike. Um, this one, uh, it's, you can see there, there's a spike, but sadly the spike, I don't know, it got crunchy and it never developed. But there's new growth. So I repotted it and it has new growth. So hopefully it will rebloom for me as well. I was kind of surprised that that one had even done anything. And then up here we have the uh, Path Petalums. And this guy is the big one I bought at the show about, oh gosh, over a year ago. It's growing like crazy. We'll see. It's one of those big bulldog paths. And then back here we have my, oh, oh gosh, it's like a cat layer, but it's not a cat layer. I'm drawing a blank, blank. It starts with a B. It's not a brassia. It's a... It's a Brassavola. That's what this one is. And maybe that's a new growth, new spike. I mean, that would be cool. And all these guys are doing pretty well. And over here we have like kind of Cattleya types. Got one of my Bulbophyllums. Uh, which is kind of randoms in here. But this little thing over here, uh, you see the water right there? I've made this... Um, movable reservoir, which is really nice for the semi-hydro, but in here you can see the little baby growths. I tried to kill this plant, both of these plants. These are two different cattleyas. They're shoved into a pot. They had new growth and a good amount of it, so I said, fine, see how you do. And so I keep the reservoir pretty full, and uh, these little new growths have been growing really well since I brought them inside. Um, I just left them outside to just kind of grow or not grow, and they tried to grow, so... All right, I'll give you a chance. Uh, yeah, so that's what's going on right now. 
Um, I'm using this new pot set up here, which I really like. I think I showed you in one of the other videos. It's a new way of doing semi-hydro. And yes, I put a little um, bit of bark on the top uh, of this particular frag. But here we have a Deliware, a, a deli <laughs> container. And inside that deli container sits a pot, just the plastic pots with slits at the bottom, um, ones that you, or a yogurt container works too, that was a yogurt container. Uh, it's just a plain old pot with slits at the bottom. And I made this little duct tape tab here so I can pull it out and it just sits right in there. And the water seeps up through the slits at the bottom and I can adjust the reservoir how deep I want it. So when I go on vacation, I did go on vacation, I filled up the reservoir more than I normally would so that the plants weren't going to get too thirsty while I was gone. And it worked really well. So this setup is my new go-to setup. Um, only problem is now finding the right size pot to fit inside the other size pot. And then you don't deal with the algae buildup. See all that algae and moss in that one? Well, this is a pot that won't allow light to the roots, so I don't have to repot or deal with the stink of the algae. Yes, that algae gets stinky. I love it. It's really a win-win. Um, that's, that's the route I'm going. And you can even put um, these pots in a decorative pot as well, because I don't want to repot them all because of stinky algae and weird bugs growing. So... Everything's been growing really well so far in it. And uh, you can, you know, I put a little bit of something on the top. I put a little bit of bark on the top because it kind of helps hold in the moisture, I think, with the Leca beads. And with frags and uh, path petals, oops, excuse me, they like that moisture. But I'm loving being able to adjust the reservoir and not just rely on two holes. Now this one I filled way too high. This one I'm just kind of soaking, but you can do that. You can just give them a good soak in their own container. Not like you have to soak individually because you only have one soaking pot. You can just fill them up and soak them all. And the pots are already in. I love it. It's, um, if you can get a pot to go inside a pot, semi-hydro, will work so much better for you. So much better. I mean, and you if you can see through the pot, which my other ones you can, uh, then you won't need a bobber and you'll know how much water you have in the reservoir. And that's kind of the problem is with when I use the um, decorative pots, I can't tell how much water I actually have sitting in the pot. I have to guess. Uh, but this new way is working pretty well. And uh, just, I just saved my pots, saved my uh, yogurt containers. Okay, so that's what's been going on. Loving this new setup, loving my frags, and they're happily growing inside for this uh, lovely winter. Well, fall, winter soon to come. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for that flower.